Uh, all right, guys, so it is round five of the playoffs of the Pantheon tournament. Um, just to keep you up to date, I am in losers, uh, which means I've lost one game. I've won the rest, um, so it's double elimination. So being in losers means if, if you lose the next game, you're playing against someone who's also lost once. Uh, and whoever loses this is eliminated from the tournament. Whoever wins obviously advances to the next uh, phase. Eventually, one of us losers are going to have to beat the guy who wins winners twice in a row. Um, because it's double elimination. But anyway, I'm up against Febreze Airfresh, otherwise known as Certified Plank Control, which is um, why I'm teching four of these in this deck. This is also he also plays Burn on the zombie side. So uh, I and this is a very good deck against Burn. Um, I'm able to control him and uh, just especially the catching mechanics, able to establish enough to uh, counter Burn and out-tempo it on turn four. They usually overcommit and stuff like that. Um, you're definitely going to be playing more of a control strategy. Anyway, Wall Knight's a hard opponent to burn down. Uh, so I'm going to be sticking with this. I have the Grass Knuckles, um, which isn't a great against uh, Burn and, and Plank Walker, so that's why I'm the Plank Control the Neptuna, so that's why I'm not going to be, I'm probably not going to be touching that. Um, he banned Rose, who was actually going to be my pick, so that was cool that he banned Rose. Just helps his decks um, excel. Uh, we'll see if the, <laughs> this should be enough to to counter any 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 uh, plank control decks that he sends at me, but uh, I, I've tested this against Burn too. It works really well. Um, and so he he won the coin toss. He picked zombies. I probably would have picked plants because I feel confident with this. You're probably going to see some some mop smash today. Uh, so here we go. Uh, we're getting right into it. I don't know if he's going to play his normal decks or if he's going to switch it up, but uh, I think this is going to be a strong deck either way. Uh, you can start with a tempo strategy, or you can be patient and set up a 3 knot. It's going with Neptuna, as expected. Uh, so we'll keep this. Um, you don't keep the catch mechanic against Neptuna, so that's an easy mulligan. Um, I'm going to look for either something to play on turn 2, or a blockbuster, or a, a walnut or a garlic. So there's a lot of things that are better than that. Uh, this will be fine for now. <sighs> so, really hoping that the opponent does not have a um, Octo in the first hand. This is all. This is almost. You can almost put the whole game down to this play. If our opponent starts with the Octopult, doesn't take it out. Oh, okay. That's very interesting. How he's letting me have that. I was really, really thought he would try to. Control me here. I guess we'll find out what's going on here. Uh, we'll keep the tempo going. What's that? I don't understand. I actually don't understand what he's doing. So if he plays another dry minion, which I don't think he's really running anything dry. So this is either going to be a, it's got to be a line dancing zombie. It could be uh, excavator or um, <sighs> line dancing excavator and uh, and um, lands uh, landscaper line dancing zombie and ex excavator line dancing excavator and. Oh, there's two excavators. I'm, I'm excavator, landscaper, line dancing. Those are the three. I'm gonna do this next turn. Should I play this right now? So against excavator, it doesn't matter. Against line dancing zombie, it is good. And against landscaper, you want to take this out. This is worth it. So we'll go for it. It's good in all three scenarios. He'll probably nerf the pumpkin. I'm guessing. This is fine. Didn't block. Splash. Uh, I will do three knot combo right now. Set it up. Better buff this than the garlic. Also grew this. Pogo, and Pogo dies. Um, this is weird. This is a glitch. This has only has two, 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 um, two health. Nothing's gonna save. I guess his encrypt would be good. Bounce doesn't really help though. 
That's fine, so these trade. It's okay. We're still way, way ahead. I, I haven't even gone blockbuster. Um, I'll heal here. I think that's good. It doesn't really matter. Let's see what he goes for. Another gravestone blockbuster would have been nice. Should I play this, the catch-up? Just since... well, the dinosaur will grow next turn. We're just trying to clog this lane. I think maximizing damage output is, is the way here. See, this got double, so there's nothing to free. I mean, can take his pick. Well, he's at least taking two. We're in great shape. The two damage isn't bad here. It might set up for a, for a lethal shot. He moved. Is that good? But this lane being clogged is pretty key. We can also just play dry plank walker. Or dry uh, cop. So we can cover this. I don't think it's worth it to cover it. This is more value. And this does kill the um. Do we have any of our blockbusters? So this, this sets up a threat, kills the 3 1. So it makes that ticking clock. Go away. We have a lot of late game, which is nice. I could have landscaped there. I just feel like it's too weak against Pogo and Freeze. So. Landscaper is actually the worst one against the, the six damage here. Weed Spray. He's doing seven. We win. We got him. All right. Um, he hasn't even seen the blockbusters yet. Definitely not playing that. So, uh, Weed Spray didn't get it done. We predicted the matchup perfectly. It's too bad I didn't get to block bust him, though. But just like that, we're up 1-0. Um, so far, the, the read was good. Again, this deck can also, with the Haunted Pumpkin, I, I think he needed to take out that Haunted Pumpkin with the Octopult. I think that was an insane, insane misplay, in my opinion. Um, but this is the reason why I'm running... I didn't even like the Haunted Pumpkins, but I ran... That's why I ended up running three. And the apple saucers be able to counter plank control. So, and the three nut again, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You got enough value there. Uh, so, we're up 1 0. Is this my first time using three nut in this tournament? I think it is. But uh, anyway, did he see the catch up? No, he didn't. The fact he didn't see that means he doesn't know I'm running heal. He actually has no idea I'm running heal. So, I'm probably going to go back to this. Uh, we're going to switch it up. Um, next on the. Um, Next on the agenda is Mop Smash. Instead of Cheese Cutter, I'm running Dog. He wants a lot of Haunted Pumpkin. Uh, the, the decks I'm predicting right now are your three mid with Haunted Pumpkin. And I think this will be a good matchup against that with all the environments we have. And also, um, sometimes he runs Funny Night, which is pretty good against some of my other decks, especially Brainstorm. And sometimes he runs um, mid rows. That's why I didn't want to do tell imps. I'm really afraid of his of his mid rows, which is a very strong matchup against that. Uh, but this should be fine against the rows. These the, the the dog walker is really good against the pumpkins. So um. So I'm gonna try this. I'll try mid tuna next. But I really want to. I think this. I think. I think this smash deck. Is gonna be good enough. So he's going with pro the wall knight. Uh, and it's nice that we have... So we're going to mulligan for dog. We're not going to get rolling stones here. Well, the rolling stones can work on turn two. So we're getting rid of the late game. Rid of the late game. This is very good on turn two. We got dog. Um, What is he going to do on turn three? I probably should pass so he doesn't set up his... Well, so he doesn't set... Just in case these both of these trade against things on one and two. <sighs> the rolling stones good. I think I'm going to go for an environment, though. It's important enough. I think I'm going to get rid of this, too. Another dog. Okay. Um, the one we want hunting on turn two is the left. It doesn't really matter where I put this. I 
Again, it could be cheese cutter. I just feel like that's too weak against Haunted Pumpkin. I wanted a really solid way of dealing with that pumpkin on one, since this guy runs... Haunted Pumpkin is the card he runs in every single deck. Uh, so we're really just going to play this like a tempo now. There's a Rolling Stone. Should I go Dog Rolling Stone um, to play around Triceratops? Or should I play Cyborg? It means Triceratops can live. It means I can Rolling Stone it and it trades anyway next turn. Um, so I'm going to play Cyborg on Pets. It also is more tempo in case he... Um, More tempo in case he, uh... Okay. And... Nothing. Uh, in case he doesn't have a play, so that's good. I don't know why he blocked the 2-2 two -two instead of the 3-2. That seems very... Not... Not advised. Okay, so, uh, we have an environment here, which I want to set up as soon as possible so we're able to Rolling Stone a Pumpkin. There's a small chance I'm gonna go in Viral here. Okay. What was that play? What is he doing? Why? Should I just go in viral and punish this really hard? I think I am. Get four damage in, why not? So dog viral works too. I just don't think he can... I mean, he can set up 3-nut. I think it's just going to be too slow now. The, you know, Alien Ooze actually kills 3-nut too, so that's just another card. Maybe this should have been on the left. Doesn't really matter. This environment. Oh, it's Funny Night! Oh, it's Funny Night! Of course it is. Of course it is. <laughs> I'm gonna save save this combo. Ah, oh, this is going. The cob cannon's not gonna. Ooh, maybe I should have played around. No, it's only turn four, so I'll I'll take this out next turn before he cubs. Heal. Okay. Yes. He's not gonna have enough targets. Uh, cob cannon in general is not very good against um. Okay, so the question is, I, the swimmer actually is better after I do this. Yeah, I'm just going to Warlord. It's so much value. And the Cop Cannon just doesn't do enough if you Warlord, too. So once you Warlord, your cheap cards become strong, so... This Funny Knight is not going to get it done. I'll save the Alien News uh, for the Soul Patch. We're, we're really going to need it for that. It, it's not... I think he's just too slow, anyway. Um, the question is, or, uh, hunting mechanics. Does this hunt? I think it does. I think it's bottom, top, and the top one's played so something hunts. Maybe not. Nah, uh, we're- he's down so low right now. Uh, so we'll do one swimmer. Uh, this actually grows to a 5-5 five, five and then turns into a 6-6. Six, six. So essentially gets double value from the Warlord. That's the synergy. Um... Soul Patch is just getting comboed here. I mean, we we you know we're running six environments in this deck, so he's doubling. Um, we'll be able to Rolling Stone if need be. It takes off six. Was that smart? Oh yeah, it makes us able to Rolling Stone the next turn. Does it also die here? Uh, yeah. Whee! Does friend? Oh, it doesn't have friends anyway. So it exactly dies. So should I go for a 6-6 six, six or a 7-7 seven, seven here? Or no, it's a... yeah. Um, I don't really need to get do the do the swimmer, so I think this this will be a seven seven, but it doesn't matter. I, I'd rather save the cheaper card for later. Another, I get he can't play Soul Patch and Force Field. Should be okay here. Why did he did he kill this one? Why didn't he kill the swimmer? 
Why did he not kill the swimmer? Anyway, it, it really wouldn't have made a difference at that point if we were far enough ahead. I don't know. Uh, that's for 2 -0. Um, I'm gonna go right back to the to the Wall Knight deck. Burn Boogaloo. Um, so this deck does have a couple of grave gravestones in it, which was part of the reason why I'm running all these blockbusters, not feeling bad about that. Okay, so the main things we need, uh, I'm not gonna keep this in my starting hand. We really need um heals. So specifically catch-up mechanic. This is fine. Ah, oh, would I get rid of three nut here? I think getting a one or a catch-up mechanic is important enough. <sighs> Alright, it's good enough to deal with the aerobics instructor and stuff, so... Let's hopefully it doesn't get off to too strong of a start. There's that. Uh, we're gonna let that happen. It also trades well with... It's gonna... Um, so this is, we didn't get, start with a Galacta or with a Catch Mechanic, hopefully we'll draw into it though. I actually mulliganed away my, um, mulliganed away the, the three knot. I hope that doesn't come back to bite me. There's this removal. Hmm. <laughs> I see a loud mouth here. Uh, there's also gestures in the stack, I believe. So we have some heal, which is great. Uh, just playing defensively, that's how you play this. Uh, hopefully he plays the gravestone here, that would be amazing. Get the value. Prefer not to show him the blockbuster. I really actually might just cover, well... I'll see what happens. Uh, I think this is it absorbs enough resources from him that it's worth it. This is not growing, this is. <laughs> he knows about the blockbuster now, though. <laughs> it's good enough. Uh, no catch in mechanics. We do have a dinosaur. Again, I'm running Allosaurus 2 as a 5 drop just to be able to deal with these decks. There's Fruitcake. He's going to regret that next turn. We'll make sure of it. Yeah, so we just got to hang on here. Catch a mechanic would be nice. There it is. So we might, I might go for this. Maybe it depends how many minions. I guess versus pass, I'll play this. <laughs> there that is. Um, so... Loudmouth final mission would win. Right? So... I can also just protect this turn. I either have to... I, I can't... I can't just... Wait, this will go up to 6 against Loudmouth. Oh, so this is fine. Fruitcake... will be 6, 7, 8. We'll be fine against Fruitcake. Just... 1, 2... Oh, wait. 1, 2... Yeah, yeah. We're fine. We're fine. Uh, hopefully he doesn't have a second Fruitcake. He used one last turn, which he really needed. If this... If this dinosaur can activate, we'll be in really good shape. Just don't just need a dodge brute kick. He might final mission one of these. I don't I think it's too many resources though, because it's still a three for one and he's running out of cards. So he final missions that to face. That's an interesting play. Very interesting. Uh, so we're gonna use catch a mechanic and protect. This will actually heal us an extra point. Which is Ooh, is he running flamenco in this? That would be really good if he had it. It would win. No. So it's three, two, and one. Pretty easy play. Uh, 
And this will basically close this guy out right here. Just gives us a little, little more heals. We don't take any damage this turn. It's probably another Jester. Got him. So we're preventing all this damage, which is great. Uh, Dinosaur is still keeping it up. And now he's down to two cards, and we'll have seven health. Um, I'm just smiling because I, I, I feel like I came into this tournament with no experience, and just the times I got wrecked, uh, tryhards were a little bit different, but like, especially Flower Man. I mean, I've been getting red so hard, and finally I feel like I'm, feel like I'm doing something here. Should I make this into a team up? It's 10. Uh, it doesn't matter. I, I don't know what combination of cards he can have. You can't fruit cake. Um, final mission. You know, some weird flamingo combo would have been cool there. But that that's just uh Seals his fate, I think, because this dino... It's anyway guaranteed lethal on the field, since he only has one shot on the block meter. So this is already 14, yeah, we don't even need everything. So, um, that's it. That's it. Uh, that was great. <laughs> I'm glad I explained my game plan before the thing, too, so I'm not, like, totally so after the fact. We did it, boys! We read this guy like a book. For real, for real, I'm really proud, proud of that one. Man. Uh, but yeah, that was round five. We're going to be moving on. Uh, good game to Febreze, though. Um, but yeah, you gotta got to mix up your decks. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next round. So it's really just, I think, one more game in Losers. I'm going to be playing against... Sorry, so I'm going to be playing against Flower Man again. So he was the guy who first crushed me. I crushed him in the... in the, And I 3-0'd him in, in the final... In the, in the playoffs. And so we're going to be playing for a third time now. Um, and then the winner of that plays, I think, PvZ Tryhard, and then the winner of that goes to the finals, which is against LGDQZ, I don't know all these letters, I don't know, whatever it is. LGTYQZ. Hope you guys enjoyed, I'll see you in the next round.